Hey everybody, Adam Phelps at Lee's Martial Arts. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on uh, the forward figure eight in bow staff. It's one of the basic um, spins for bow, and so uh, it's a lot of what we are going to do with bow staff uh, builds off that. So um, I'm not using mine, I'm using one that was here at Lee's because it's got this piece of tape on it that I think might help to be able to watch as I perform the technique. So I'm left-handed, so my strong hand is uh, an underside grip. My weak hand is over, and I'm gonna start like this. The idea of the figure eight is that you dip the tip of the staff, and the tip is the end on your strong hand side, uh, past your knee, this way, like you're rowing a boat. Then the trick is you turn the staff over, and you do the same thing on the other side. So the figure eight is just taking the tip of the staff past your alternating knees, and again, as you start, your hands should be about a third, a third, and a third on the staff. This is much easier if your hands are closer together, so you can start there and just gradually work to having your arms, your hands further apart. So again, with the tip, we're gonna drive it by our strong side knee. Then up, we're gonna cross over our arms, take that same tip and drive it past our weak side knee. And that's one figure eight. It looks like this fast. So that's why it looks called, it's called a figure eight. It looks like an infinity sign if you do it fast enough. Down, past your knee, cross your arms, past the other knee, and back. This is a basic, um, a basic spin. Uh, it's also a good warm up for your shoulders. We tend to do this before we start with our bow staff drills at each class. So you can get going pretty quickly with this once you get used to it. It's not super hard going forward, which this is considered forward. So once you get this down, what you can try next is something we're actually going to work on in class tonight, which is integrating strikes into your um, figure eight. So if you've already watched the videos on our 10 strikes, um, consider adding one in as you spin. So if I start here, I'm going fairly slowly, I can just integrate a strike here to number five, here, back to start, go again, Go again, go again, and then just when you feel one coming, throw in a strike. So you're just gonna keep doing that. You keep coming up with different ways to come out of a figure eight and do a strike. So play with that. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun drill to get you thinking creatively about how to come out of that spin. And it's a really good shoulder loosening exercise as well as shoulder strengthening exercise with a heavy enough staff. 